Good evening. Good evening. 2024 at about 7.15 and we are opening our meeting. On the agenda, we have our first step is a Pledge of Allegiance, so I'm going to ask everybody to stand up. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Now we have our... Um, Lying here with an A&R Keys Road. It's a revised lot one, and there's a vote expected. So what are you doing? Um, so basically, this was a plan that was just before you guys uh, back in November. Um, he created the three lots, mm -hmm. and all we're doing is just reducing this lot one to the minimum area, 45,000 square feet. That's, that's the only thing. Same frontage, just change the area. Okay. That's in rural, right? No. It's in village. Yeah, that's got to be rural. Yeah, it's, it's village, rural. right? Yep. Yeah, it's close to rural. village, but I don't know exactly where it is. Yeah, it's a 45,000 square foot. Is it considered rural? This or is village. Right. Well, he put it's it rural. Up, so. oh, no, it's rural. It's not village. Yeah. Keys Road is rural. Yeah. Yeah, well, I just did the one across the street. That was rural. The one down the street, we just did rural. So that little corner to to who who gets that little back portion? That back portion is going to go to the remaining land the owner. Same owner owns all of it right now, I believe. He's got, I forgot You're doing a building lot there? Yeah, I think it's his parents or in laws or something. Maybe you're building on that front lot. So. On the forty-five thousand square yeah. foot lot. Okay. They're just. Reducing that down to meet the minimum area requirement. That was it. <coughs> That's big. I only have 15. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know some of them are small. Yeah. You but say no. the minimum 45. <laughs> Wait a minute. I only have 15. That must be big. I'm good with it. You guys, any yeah. questions? It's okay to me. It's fairly straightforward. Good. Yeah. It's got the minimums. Yeah. Okay. Do we have a motion, please? I'll make, I make the motion. We accept the A&R for Keys Road, revised lot one. Can I have a second, please? Second. All in favor? Drew King, aye. Ed Long, to get aye. David Dufresne, aye. David Bellis, aye. Rich Hacker, aye. Motion passes. A&R approved. We're going to sign now. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. We'll just go right around. Okie dokie. Enough space for signatures there. <laughs> from OTO. Nothing. Oh, I forwarded them to you. Today? Um, like at 5 o'clock, maybe. Oh, so he didn't know I didn't see him. Oh, I should have asked him for him. That's all right. Yeah. Get paid when they get paid. <laughs> I can amend the next meeting and add it on to it. Yeah. I know that's going to have to get amended anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> he just wanted to post it, so. Yeah, that's fine. Like when I have a piece of paper, I can't read it. I start doing this. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 people are looking at you like, what's the matter with him? I know. <laughs> it's like, I can't have a plan. Most of the time I do it like, when I'm alone, they're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it was the third one. It yeah, was stuck together. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Imagine me, I can play tic tac toe with you. <laughs> That's all I do is my initials. <laughs> yeah, more you <laughs> Easy enough, yep. yep. <laughs> you know, you see all these like historical documents and the beautiful mm -hmm. signatures, yeah. mm -hmm. the scroll work, mm -hmm. and the way it's done. It's like artwork or just seeing the Constitution, how it's written all by hand. Yep. And just like, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry, I could not do that. Those guys never had to sign closing documents. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't. Well, remember, there was no electricity, no, no, no internet, no nothing. So all they had was to be able to write and read. Yeah, pretty and much. Do chores. Yeah, <laughs> and run the country at the age of yeah, eighteen. You know, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, besides that, <laughs> yeah. Have what are our eighteen-year-olds <laughs> doing these days? Nothing. <laughs> my mother, my mother oh my taught God. running the country. Yeah. yeah. My mother had the, a class in the Palmer method, which I guess you do a lot of. It was a whole method on how to learn how to hand. Hey, beautiful handwriting. Mm. But yeah, you make circles like nine million times, and then you're able to do this. I don't know. She had gorgeous they made me do that at school. Yeah, didn't, didn't work. Most of everybody has a handwriting. You know, you get. I don't have one. Well. I blame my third grade teacher, Miss Wynn, because she fell down the stairs and broke her arms and she was going to teach us to write. And then we got a substitute teacher who couldn't care less. <laughs> Mrs. Darwin, so. Teach no, they don't. They don't teach no. Writing, huh? no. My kids took it. Oh, yeah? My granddaughter doesn't even Yeah, my youngest is in eighth grade and he yeah. took it. Well, I think my son did it. My daughter. Right. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Good night. Thank you. Okay, next. Any comments? Yep. So, um, whoever owns Borrego currently, that fence is never shut, ever. No, no it wasn't shut the other day, no. So they need to be told that it needs to be shut. And the other th thing that I forgot to ask last week that I couldn't remember what it was, where are you on getting the information on the solar fields? Um... Pretty much the same. Is it Ber Ber Bergio you just said? Borrego. It used to be Borrego. I don't know what it is today. Um, I think I got three back. So you only have a couple left to yeah. get? Yeah. So mm -hmm. they really should get a third notice. Yeah, that it I was going to send that out again this week. And I did it the week before. I went 
think you did it before you went on vacation. Yeah, I, I did it right before. I would do it certified letter so that they know you're not kidding. Um, well, ZPT, I got that back from the beginning of March. That just came back in the mail the mm -hmm. end of last week. So okay. that's how long it's taking the mail to come back when it's undeliverable. <laughs> right. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you did, they, did they add a new container down there too? I thought I seen something down there, another building. I didn't see. I, I didn't I notice just that. drive by and notice that. Wait, it's, Borrego? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't really yeah, know I, when I was driving by, I'm like, it actually looks like a battery storage building. They don't. Another one? They don't have battery storage, do yes, they? they? Do. Yeah, they yes, do. Yes, they yeah. do. Do they? Those big oh, uh, containers. They, they had two, I think. No, this was outside the fence. Uh, I haven't outside seen the fence. I haven't seen. No, I haven't no. seen that. So, not. Not the upper fence, but you know how they oh, the yeah, yeah. inner oh, fence oh, oh, inside. Yeah, I, yeah. It was outside that. I'm usually not driving that slowly. <laughs> well, I was because I was looking at the the gate open and I was kind of looking down. Yeah. And that's when the trees weren't starting to come in. Okay. So you could see. Yep. So. The only other thing was the uh, the site plan procedures that we approved last November or whatever. I realized the other day they weren't on the planning board site, so Sarah put them up. So we're all up to date now. So, Good. yep. Do we want to talk about anything we learned about the, for the um, MMA meeting for solar? Yeah. Where did you see it? So this is um, the entrance. Yep. That's their battery container. It was down over here. Visible from the road? Yep. Can I see? No. So, so down down to the, the right. Yep. That's the existing battery. And yep. It says that somewhere down here. Okay. So that's the entrance. Mm -hmm. There's the existing battery. They need to say this somewhere. Oh, I see. Okay. Hmm. But, um, yeah, they... Again, with solar, you know, we had our MMA um, conference yeah. in Northampton, and they talked a little bit about it. Um, they were really kind of pushing the um, the fact that they were going to a committee and using the state, and some people showed opposition to that. Um, the senator that was there, uh, was there... Was it coffin? coffin? Yeah. Something like that. Mm -hmm. um, she was not in favor of it going to the state, that it should remain within the, um, the towns, but it really looked like they were pushing it towards that. Um, there was a woman that was going around that was getting everybody to sign on for Save the Forests and yep. prevent that from happening um, as an opposition letter. Um, but it, it definitely looks like they're they're moving that way of doing that. Um, not surprising. So, but it's it's not done yet, but it's close. Um, that's about my, really all they talked about is they were kind of pushing that a little bit, and I think they sensed people were getting a little. Well, they were sensing testy. Well, I, I was like. <laughs> MMA is in oh, favor of it. Was like, no, I don't think they're in favor of it. No. I yeah. think they're trying to ride a line. Okay. Because yeah. they have to deal with the legislature, and then they have to deal with all the towns. So. It's definitely being pushed politically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, right. I don't think that a majority of the towns were in favor for it, although the woman we were talking with said that she did talk to a couple of the towns, and they were seemed okay with it. So I think those are towns that don't have a lot of resources and they feel overwhelmed, but I don't think they understand that the That's state right. is basically going to yeah, come in and say, towns. you're putting it here and don't worry about your zoning and don't right. worry about runoff. It doesn't matter. You're putting it here. I mean, right. that's... Yeah. Right. They're taking all authority away from the municipalities. Right. Uh -huh. Now, will, will this committee, for example, if there's a project in a town... They have a meeting like this where the public can come in and say, "Hey, hey." Uh, supposedly, that. there's going to be no, public. No, it will be taken so. out of the hands. It will it's be the closed, state. It will yeah. be a state committee. 
just like Android, they can do whatever they want. From, from well, my the, understanding the, with it is you can express your opposition to right. the committee. <clears throat> yeah. But the seek, committee does the approval. They'll seek local everything. input. Right. Which means they're going to ignore whatever you say. Just like on that survey that Joyce wanted everybody to fill oh, out. Right. The, yep. the day the surveys were due, they announced their recommendations, the right? Yeah. Of the yeah. surveys. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. So that's so how it was that's how it's going to go. Yeah. And and never mind that the local people know more about the topography well, they, than the. And everything else in That's the That's the big argument, yeah. But, but they're, they're pushing solar. If, if everybody keeps on saying, no, I don't want it here, then they can't spread it right. out there because they're, they made it clear. They're not putting it in Wellesley. They're not putting it in Woburn. Not. They're putting it on Wayland. They're not putting it in those places. West of Worcester. They, they're going to put them in small towns. Yep. Where, again, plenty of open land. And they're we not have the land. And it's not going to make any difference in the world. That's what gets me. And, and they did it's say the five W's. You're not going to see them in the five W's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they, they said which towns were. Man, did we miss that boat? Wait, we cut a yeah, W. Yeah, we, we didn't make that. that we're not that W. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, we are a W. Yeah, yeah we are a not, W, but not, not this W's. W's. <laughs> we, we missed the train. Double W's. Yeah, why yeah, why we do have a w, double W. Why don't they put them in <laughs> rooftops? Well, they that was Emma, MMA's thing that they were trying to do is they were really trying to advocate for doing it in brown zones, rooftops, mm -hmm. parking lots. One of their big proposals was large parking lots right. and placing them so cars Oof. can park underneath right. um, as, as a, a shield, right. <clears throat> but you're only going to see a few car fires when that starts happening and property damages. Then they're going to turn around and say, take them all out because we don't want them they, here, and they have a bunch of they're going to go now. after the forests again. So They can also do wind turbines on buildings. There, there's a company in Canada, they look like spiral. The smaller ones, right? And they, yeah. they're, they're three-foot increments. And yeah. they, put, they designed them for rooftops. Mm -hmm. So put 20 of them on each building in Boston. And I think those can take higher wind loads, they too. Can. Yeah. Right? They can, yeah. but nobody's using them because it makes sense. Right. But how much electricity do they actually put out, though? Depends how much the wind blows. Well, <laughs> right. if it's compared if to it's solar, working versus like you're looking at like how much electricity is it putting out? How much does it cost? Right. What's the maintenance on it? Right, it's almost no maintenance versus the, the, solar the, panels. They put them out there, and the wind can the wind can blow 24 hours a day. The sun's out only half the day, so. If so the panels are what? 40% It makes effective? more sense in this alti altitude, you know. It, right. it doesn't make more sense. The, the real kill, uh, killer, it's cutting the trees and putting solar panels. Right. Yeah. That's that completely that stupid. Yes. There yep. Even there was a guy over there trying to get more money from the state because they had forest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and I was trying to look at him, what, what, kind of, what faces he was making when she was saying that, you know, about the solar, because yeah. it's, it's actually one against the other one. Well, we have all this forest, we can make a little bit more money. Well, if you have state forest, the state actually pays you uh, the town of Pilot. State. Yeah. Right. yeah. Which I didn't know. Do we have state forest in our town? We do. Any kind of wildlife management stuff we have. We have some state land here. Are we I've getting any money for it? Yeah. Are we? Yeah. We don't have wildlife management areas anymore. I know, but we do have, we have state a conservation. Land. West Brookfield does. West Brookfield has. Oh, Brookfield does. does. But that, there's Brainfield. a reason why. I don't. Uh, the only place I know of is up on the Beaver Pond in West Warren, because that's state land up there. Coy, there's Coy but is it? But is it Colonel's Mountain too? Is that in Brimfield? <clears throat> no. Or in Warren? Colonel Colonel's Mountain up North Street is in Warren. That's an old campground, I guess, that the state took. It's now a wildlife management area. Coy Hill, that's in Warren and West Brookfield. Oh, some of them might yeah. go down into Palmer. It's yeah, big. but it's only a little tiny piece in Warren. It's about 2,000 acres. acres. It's big. But in Warren? No, no, no. The whole thing. Oh, it's yeah. About 2,000 yeah. acres, yeah. Yeah, but in, in the Warren side. Yeah, no, not, so there's not much. So we probably get 27 We are cents. getting money because I don't know. 
Yeah, I've seen it on a tax report. We have, we do have some state lands that we get money okay. for. Okay. Yeah, because they put up a, a, an issue with, because Harvard University owns a huge chunk of land, and they pay zero. Mm -hmm. Tax exempt. The tax yep. exempt. Yep. The Harvard Forest. Yep. So they they, should they have, what, a billion dollar endowment? And a billion? Try um, about 50 billion. Mm -hmm. And, and they, they can't pay any taxes to the town? They, they should be, the, the Harvard should be letting all the students go for free. <coughs> they could. Yeah. See, they, they were also talking about the, uh, these, the money that the towns receive for the kids, and they're trying to make a, like an argument that all these towns are around the Quebec Reservoir, which is what yeah. the water Boston gets. Right. We, are, we, you know, they took four towns right. to make that, and right. they are, without that water, they can survive. That's why right. they're, you know, trying to get from there. I said, let's put the uh, solar panels on top of that water. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, that's one of the things that was actually really interested, how they were trying to get Boston to pay to the communities, because right now the community is not getting any money from that transaction. From Quabbin. From Quabbin. And Boston's getting all the water, and they're actually asking for more now to increase their capacities, but yet the surrounding towns aren't getting any money from Boston for that. Surprise. Yeah, that's a So shock. it's like, it's just like the solar. It all goes. Yeah, yeah. it goes into the net, you, you, but we don't Your electric anything. bill goes up if you want it, but <laughs> yeah. you know, green energy, yeah, sure, opt in, you'll pay more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it so seems like us, so was there any Towns good, are good news old. that came out of this thing? Hope. <laughs> Not really. Okay. Hope for the next meeting. Oh, next yeah, meeting. okay. <laughs> I, I don't think there was it. It was kind of... No. If you got to think that hard, there wasn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing really stands out that was good news. Well, They're looking at starting a public safety um, fund in... in in, in the state, and mm -hmm. I know Ann Gobi talked about that before, and they're looking at doing that. Yeah, but it's they don't we know. Can, if it, we kind of like said, "Oh, if you want a pilot project, we're ready." Yeah, yeah. They, they they don't know if it will make it in this year. So okay, well, but that was the only positive thing. But then the bubble kind of got deflated a little bit. Oh boy. So, okay. Oh, can you think of anything positive? I thought the solar stuff was positive because the people oh. are pushing back against it. Yeah, but people you, are pushing against it, but they're not listening. But do they think? <laughs> well, but you know. Do you think the they, people will prevail? I'm not sure. <laughs> I think if it comes down to, are we going to like vote you out of office? They might. Yeah. There's a big groundswell. I, I think. Know. Okay. I don't know. There's big money in that. Yeah. Well. There's big big funds, and I think it's being really... You know the solar companies are just slobbering over this deal. Oh, Does yeah. the state will let them do anything they, they absolutely want, want wherever it. they want? Sure. They absolutely want it. Sure. You know, they don't have to put up with crap from us? Yeah. Don't have to say anymore. Old failed used car salesman. Uh, I'm not just once it gets up to the area. I'm not. Uh, no. I'm not convinced that the good good will prevail. Yeah, it's money that prevails, mm -hmm. and those with the bigger pockets make things happen. Right. Yeah. So, and that's not okay. us. <laughs> well, we have very very tiny tiny. Pockets. pockets. <laughs> we barely have a pocket. <laughs> we, we have, it's empty. It's empty, exactly. <laughs> it doesn't matter how big it is, it's always empty. Okay. All right, moving on, right? I make a motion we approve the clerk payroll for the week's ending 330, 436, 413, 420, and 427. 
The amounts are 36176, 29792, 29792, 34048, and 25536. Second. All in favor? Drew King, aye. Ed Londigan, aye. David Dufresne, aye. Derek Vellis, aye. Rich I. Hacker, aye. Motions approved. Payroll approved. Bills approved. Budget. <coughs> Make a motion to approve the March 25th, 2024 me um, minutes. Um, Second. All in favor? Drew King, aye. Ed Londigan, aye. David Dufresne, aye. Rich Hacker, aye. No, I'm, I'm not voting. I, I wasn't here. Oh, okay. <coughs> oh, next meeting is the 13th. It is yes. the 13th. Yes, it is. We already have that. And there's a cohort meeting that morning also. Uh, is that night? It's, that, it's at the meeting. Because I got something today that it said it was from 11.15 to 11.45. And then I got one, another one saying that it was today from 11.15 to 11.45. So I just want to be sure when what? the next huh? meeting is. Say what? I swear I changed it. Copart. So Copart is... 5.15 meeting notice, 7.15 to 7.45, May 13th. May 13th. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. let me change the end date thing yeah, that's, when I do it. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. But that's then okay. I sent another one that was just a reminder about tonight because I didn't have it on yeah, the it calendar. Was. Okay. And the meeting notice. So it's just regular hours. Yep. 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 The meeting notice is fine. Okay. Cool. And I did all the. Yep. <clears throat> I did Good. the legal notice today and all the other notifications went out. Okay. Thank you. All right. Cool. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Drew King, aye. Get along to get an eye. David Dufresne, aye. Eric Willis, aye. Rich I. Hacker, aye. We are adjourned.